them operate, so we have to make them like each other. Okay. Ah, oh, Sean. Okay, where? Is this one for this checkpoint? Yeah, it is. Fantastic. We'll grab all their stuff. At least Strickland can't kill anyone with this formula. It's locked, all right. Dang it. Can I have that? It's locked. It's locked, all right. Warmer Goswick. Convalescence note. Patient shows signs of extreme fatigue. Major sores on the throat, mouth, and tongue. But no sign of flu. Refuses to speak. Claims it's painful. Needs rest and healing of throat mucus membrane before any decision can be made. Before mucus released. Dr. Swansea. Dear Dr. Swansea, despite the actual urgency of the sanitary situation, I must inform you of a recent case of professional misconduct inside Pembroke. Nurse Gwyneth Brannigan has been found guilty of undeniable unprofessional... But I like Nurse Brannigan. Conduct when it's guilty of endangering a patient. Under no circumstances should a nurse diagnose and establish a prescription without at least informing the... Excuse you? You know, Edgar, I'm not against personal initiative and interest for all, uh, but can't allow a nurse to perform a diagnosis. This is Ackroyd. Okay, yeah. <laughs> Ackroyd's gonna. Ackroyd's gonna die. Ackroyd's gonna go missing. Oh, I know. Be nice to spread. Okay, but like, here's the thing, right? Even Tippets was saying that. She was an amazing nurse, so just shut the hell up. I'll take this guy's money. It's locked. Oh, Ackroyd. I can't think of a reason to keep you alive anymore. Shame that. Is there anything else I need to do for... I don't know if that was unlocked the last area yet. I need, like, treatments really bad, though. I need to make a lot of those. Okay. Got one fatigue. Two, three, four fatigue. Sounds messing up. Uh, okay, so four. I need neurologia. Erga and opium. Okay. I've got enough fatigue though. So that's good. Actually, I got a good hunk of that. East end dogs. Huh? Mortimer had a new hint. And Gwyneth had a new hint, right? Mortimer has a hint, and Nurse Brannigan. <sighs> Where's Mortimer again? Here. How long must I wait, damn it? Blaming me will not further your agenda, sir. How long? But you? in the circumstances, I'm willing to give you the benefit of the doubt. Yeah, yeah. You have the right to disapprove of our methods, and you will kindly apologize when you're feeling better. Good evening, Mr. Goswick. How are you? I'm okay. Why did your mother have you hospitalized here? She seems convinced this is a bad hospital. My mother just wants the best for me. She won't rest while I'm here. She'd go all the way to hell and back to help me. Mothers tend to do that. 
Pembroke Hospital may look unorthodox, but rest assured, you're in good hands here. It's not me you have to convince, Dr. Reed. It's my mother. I'm gonna spend some time with you guys, huh? Is your mother bothering you? As your doctor, I can ask her to leave you alone if you would prefer. That's tempting, Doctor. But you have no idea what my mother is capable of. She would tie herself to my bed if you asked her to leave. Jesus. Okay, that's a little bit worrying. It's not healthy. Your medical report says you're not affected by the Spanish flu. What do you think of that, Mortimer? Does it make me happy? Not in the slightest. If it was up to me, I would have left this place long ago. I know I don't belong here. And why do you think you don't belong here? I know the staff have more important things to do than look after me. There's plenty of patients here who need their attention. How painful is your throat, Mr. Goswick? So painful I'd rather not talk at all, Doctor. What can you tell me about the recent commotion in the hospital? I had shouting coming from the first floor. I was asleep when it started. Hmm. I have to go now, sir. But don't hesitate to contact me if you need any help. Good evening, sir. Doctor. Good evening, Doctor. How is my son doing? What can you tell me about the recent commotion in the hospital? It's a disgrace. How on earth can patients be attacked in their own rooms? Well, you see here, we're a little understaffed right now. There's an epidemic. We only have like four doctors. <laughs> There's a lot of patients. But no time to sleep and eat. And also take care of all the patients and do car, and do car duty. I've read your son's medical report, Beatrice. It's not the flu or anything life-threatening. What has you so worried? He was at death's door when he was brought here. I just want him to be better as soon as possible. He's not out of the woods yet, you know. He might need to stay here longer than expected. Take care of him then, Dr. Reed. People here only seem to focus on contagious patients. I worry my poor Mortimer will be neglected. I understand your concern as a mother. But the problem is, is there's other people. And we only have four doctors. That's all. That's not the problem. Goodbye, Mrs. Goswick. <sighs> I need to get more hits out of y'all. Will this shift never end? I'm alright. My sweet girl. Don't waste your time with me. You? I'm quite busy right now, Dr. Reed. How long does it take to kill you? Four. What can you tell me about the recent commotion in the hospital? Nothing like this would have happened if we'd had enough staff and proper shifts. So you don't think the blame is ours? We all hold fast here, Dr. Reed. Our methods may differ, but we are all trying to make a difference. She's a little bit of a dick, though. Tell me, Waverly. What do you think of Dr. Strickland's enthusiasm for his experimental research? Strickland is playing with his patients' lives for pride and glory. That's not how now I saw that, it at all. sir, is unethical. Are you thinking about something in particular? Harvey Fiddick needs delicate surgery. I believe we should stick to the usual procedure. But my young colleague obviously disagrees. He broke his arm. And are you not afraid that your rivalry with Strickland may be blinding you? Rivalry? I guess you could call it that. But I will never be childish enough to let my personal feelings affect my judgment. You can hope not. Hope not to see that happening. Why do you wish to lead this surgery? I strongly believe that Mr. Fiddick should not be butchered to test an unproven procedure. I guess here's the thing, right? Other people may say that's too conservative a point of view. Conservative? And what are you going to say to Mr. Fiddick See, if he loses his arm because of the operation? 
Because that's what's going to happen if the surgery is a failure. Do you think Dr. Strickland has any chance of curing the Spanish flu by himself? His wish to cure the sick is not driven by pride, but by an idealistic view about our mission here. Honestly, I don't know which is worse. You consider him a good practitioner, yet you will not report his methods. Strickland may be a rival, but I will not use dirty tricks or regulations to prove him wrong. We are doctors, not politicians. You're slowly earning my trust. Thank you for your time. We'll talk later. I will not let you down, my boy. Good evening, Dr. Strickland. And good evening to you, Dr. Reed. Can I be of any help? When it comes to Harvey's... Did you know Dr. Aykroyd never reported your experimental research, despite the fact he doesn't agree with it? Really? I didn't suspect he knew about my work. I must confess I am surprised. Perhaps he thinks you should realize for yourself the danger of what you're doing. See how condescending he can be? My god, he can be so irritating. Yeah, but see, here's the thing though too, Strickland. You have to do this stuff like, like I understand where you're coming from, but you're also really eager to do it and you gotta be a little bit more careful. Goodbye, Dr. Strickland. Can I make a decision for Harvey? I think we should do it the regular way instead of Good evening, Mr. Away. Fiddick. Good evening, Dr. Reed. Any news about my operation? Please, tell me about the recent commotion in the hospital. I heard Miss Jones call for help from her bedroom. There were some loud noises, like people fighting. All of a sudden, it went quiet. And then a nurse started screaming. Do you know who the nurse was? Not sure, but I think it was Nurse Hawkins. Mm -hmm. I never talked about but she said she was pretty messed up from it. Fair. Goodbye for now, Mr. Fiddick. I'll see you later. I don't want to kill Mr. Fiddick, because I like him. Reads me like a book. Never Love, I finally found the missing money for the fee asked by the ambulance driver to bring you to the hospital. Don't worry about nothing now except getting better for I took care of everything. I asked some of our neighbors and they told me that Mr. Hooks is something of an honest crook. He may ask for extra money for a bed, but the bed is then guaranteed. I'm sorry I refused to pay first and I really support things you better soon. Milton. Good evening, Milton. Good evening, Doctor. Still trying to save lives. Yeah, why are you trying to make for friction? First I need and I'd like to see your goods. Wise choice, Doctor Reed. A reliable gun is what everybody needs these days. Yeah, but I need to go to the Good evening, Mo. Good evening, Doc. Yes, yes, yes. What can you tell me about the recent commotion in the hospital? Someone killed Miss Jones in her room, and Mr. Hampton's gone missing. Doesn't take a genius to piece it together. You don't seem shocked by any of this. Why should I be? Whoever did this must be long gone by now. And besides, he got rid of the old bag. <laughs> she was pretty awful. Tell me why you're extorting money from some of the patients here. If a patient wants a bed, he'll have to pay me a little fee. That's all. Where did you get the idea for such an immoral scam? Funny you should ask. The first time it was from a patient who bribed me to get a bed. It's only then I realized I could make a fortune. <sighs> Admit it. Nurse Hawkins is more than your lover. 
She's also your partner in crime. Of course she is. How else could I tell which bed is free? I need to know that. Have you no shame? Don't you see this city is crumbling down? Today, people are ready to pay to get a hospital bed. Tomorrow, we may be fighting for food. Goodbye, Milton. Good evening, I haven't checked with you for a while. How are you, Tippets? Dr. Reed, any good news to share? Oh, I'm sorry, there's five doctors. Because there's Swansea, there's Tippets, there's Strickland, there's Jackward, there's me. Five doctors. Can you tell me anything about the recent commotion in the hospital? Did you see Sean? It's a tragedy, pure and simple. The hospital is meant to be a safe haven to all. We failed the people who trusted us with their care. Do you think I should not have brought Mr. Hampton back here? It's not your fault. You rescued that poor soul. It was the Christian thing to do. But we should have noticed his instability. However, could you have? Because even I thought Sean was fine. <laughs> and I was kind of watching for it at the beginning. Yeah. Nurse Brannigan has been recently accused of neglecting her professional duties. Tell me what you really think about it. This kind of protest is nothing but elitist bullshit. I trust Nurse Brannigan with my life. She has what it takes to be a great doctor. But Do you really think she could be the next that. Elizabeth Blackwell? Believe me, Dr. Reed, a time will come when skill and skill alone will determine who can be a physician and who cannot. I like tippets. They got a bit of a drug problem. So I gotta watch him. But I like him. I think, like she knew what she was doing, right? She, if she, if she's a doctor saying, you know what, you're as good as a doctor, you can just have free reign, then like, let her have free freaking reign. I just understand Eckhart being like, dude, what if she actually killed somebody? Goodbye, Dr. Tippets. Bye, Tippets. Clay. Clay is the one I want to kill. I need a little bit more hits from him yet. I can do that. Oh, hold on, there's some sketchy shit going on back there. Perhaps I should have considered the offer from that category. Can I be sure I'll not find your unconscious body in the house again? I promise you, you'll not find my unconscious body. For God's sake, how can you say such a thing? How can you refuse to listen? I tried to warn you for so long. No, I won't let my only son die. You promised me you'll stay alive. Your son lied to you, like the whole world lies to us. Oh, you're suicidal, my friend. Okay, well... Suicide. All right. Back to Mortimer. Also, where the hell is this friend? I saw her. Right, she was talking to Doctor Tippets, and now completely lost track of her. Ah, oh, there she is. Nurse Brannigan. I am. Really wish you didn't have to. Good do evening, that. Nurse Brannigan. Good evening, Doctor. According to the report I read, your unprofessional conduct put a patient in danger, Gwyneth. That's not true. I know when my patient's life is at risk, and I'm more competent than a lot of doctors that I know. Problem is, I'm a woman. I Please. don't see what your gender has to do with your abilities, nurse. Yes, nurse. Because I'll never be a doctor, no matter what my skills. I could make a decision that could save a life, but oh no. That's unbecoming conduct. You know what? The patient lived. 
Dr. Tippett is backing her up? I'm backing her up. Have you heard of Elizabeth Blackwell? She was the first woman listed on the UK medical register. Change is slow, but it will come. And you will always have my support. To have the right to study shouldn't be determined by sex, skin, or wealth. That's all I'm saying. Still determined by wealth, but... <laughs> Let's be honest, it's still by wealth. That's about it now. No, Goodbye, I will 100% nurse. Call me if you need again. assistance. I adore her. She's a great nurse. We can handle this. Good evening, Mr. Goswick. How are you? I'm okay. Hey. You tried to kill yourself. How many times have you tried this? Admit it, Mortimer. Your mother had you hospitalized here because you tried to kill yourself. Yes, it's true. All right, then. This is the first time we've really shared information about your case. Shall we call this progress? Call it what you want, Dr. Reed. Look, if you want to die, I'll help you. I need the blood. It's fine. Shh, it's okay. <laughs> you can trust me. I won't report you to the authorities. My oh, yeah, one and <laughs> only concern is your health. I guess I should thank you then. The reason, so the reason Lisa, I know it's illegal where I live. Um, you can't kill yourself because, like, it's illegal. And then the, that gives cops, like, the right to enter your home in America. So they can, like, try to save your life. Because otherwise they wouldn't be able to save your life. Can I help you in any way, Mr. Goswick? I wrote a letter for my mother. She was supposed to read it after. Okay after my death but I suppose she doesn't have to read it now I see and is this letter still near the place where you tried to take your own life yes and I don't want anyone reading my last words I mean I'm still here if you bring me back that letter then perhaps we'll talk on it This one's done, yeah. I have to go now, sir. But don't hesitate to contact me if you need any help. Look. Right. Don't waste your time with me. Look, if I, if I just help him, if I just, I'm gonna help him. I'm gonna help him die. It's a bit dark, but he wants to die anyway. So really, I'm just helping him, right? Good it's evening, Doctor. Fine. How is my son doing? So your son's suicidal. And you should probably go take him to a therapist or I'm going to drain his blood. Your son wished to die, Beatrice. Why did you hide such crucial information? Are you not aware suicide is a crime? Yeah. Mortimer illegal. could be thrown in jail. I can't let that happen. I won't. I understand you fear the legal consequences, Mrs. Goswick. But don't you realize your silence significantly affects your son's case? All my son needs is help and comprehension. Not judgment and punishment for what he may or may not have done. Goodbye, Mrs. Goswick. Alright, I'll see if I can get the... I'd like to finish that up and... If I could kill Mortimer... It's kind of messed up, but he'd be happier. Any more like people here that I should probably just go to Bellwood? Still got a few here. Dang, these ones are all done. Still got two more for my Cox, which is interesting. He's the only one I want to kill. Like he's the one I definitely want to kill. So. Hey, Doc. What can you tell me about the recent commotion in the hospital? Yeah, All I know is I ain't letting anyone rip my throat out in my sleep. I found myself a nice play, Doc. <laughs> I'm ready. If you'd like, I can do it while you're awake. No? Okay. 
nothing really for him. I'll leave you for now, Mr. Cox. I'm sorry, does Lady Ashbury have something for me? Oh, Jonathan. I cannot believe my eyes. Poor woman. Butchered by some savage scal. Um. <laughs> Look, the bottom one. Look, it's a bit crass. She's not like that. She's fascinating. She's classy things. Fancy dinners. Yes. And I'm afraid I'm at least partially responsible. Yeah. The man, the scowl, I brought him here. Jonathan, how could you say such a thing? Forgive me if I feel despondent. For there seems to be no end to the suffering and death that surrounds us. I'm always here for you, Jonathan. A kiss. I have experienced a certain difficulty when faced with holy symbols or trying to enter religious buildings. Have you? Now that's quite a question. I don't know why, but yes, it has happened to me. Is this a sign? The hand of God in action? Are we repellent unto heaven? I don't have the answers, Jonathan. But, I believe superstition and magic is just fact awaiting the lens of science. Hey, I like that perspective. I like that perspective a lot. Aren't you frightened? Very little scares me, my dear. To be compelled to avoid symbols of faith does not concern me. Hmm. What do you know of Ascalon? I was threatened by a creature, a vampire in Whitechapel. Stating I had to obey the law of conduct. What more can you tell me about him? Big. <laughs> he was bigger than a man. Huge, in fact. He seemed to radiate violence. I thought he was going to tear me apart. Then he vanished. Fergal, the executioner of Ascalon. You were fortunate he was not after you, but rather outdoing his master's bidding. What is Ascalon? The Ascalon Club are the most powerful vampires in Britain and exert tremendous influence. Take my advice and stay well away. On it. Have you embraced this woman like the other patient, this Mr. Renfield? Her name was Amelia. And no, I did not kill her. I vowed a very long time ago that I would never take another life, unless they ask. Is there sufficient vitality in the blood of the sick and dying patients? Yes, Jonathan. The hunger gnaws at me every waking hour. Frankly, I'm starving. Temptation surrounds us. Rich, vital. How can you resist? Over the years, any pleasure I once gleaned from feeding is long gone. I drink for sustenance. And though I still thirst for more, I restrain myself. Interesting. Thank you, my lady. I hope to see you again soon. I like her. Okay, that was nothing else here. There's that over there, I know what that's about, but the what you send the docks all the way down here. And that's where I have to go. Okay, actually, how do I get down here? Okay, so I follow this. Oh, there's a bridge! Fantastic. It seems the Prewin are redoubling their patrols in the district. I must be more careful. Lisa, can't let you through. Best be moving on. Look at it, Bishop Beast. Have faith, bro! 
Goswick's place, by the way. I never. Did, did, nope. Dang it, I'm screwing this all up. Mm -hmm. Cool. Alright, it's in that area, so I'm gonna get back. I probably should end Sean's life here. Which is horrible to say. I really liked him, too. This was irritating. Did not like the man. Just have to kill him. See them fancy clothes? It's hard to talk. Do most of my feeding, I've noticed. Okay. Skull, skull.
Hello, sir. Are you all right, sir? What are you doing in a place like this? I'm not sure that's any of your business. I hope you realize that staying here will put your life at great risk. Bah! I'm not afraid of these guards of Prewen, or whatever these thugs call themselves. I can still kick some respect into those youngsters. I wasn't specifically referring to them, but are you really after these men? Why? They took my boy! I've had no news since he joined that crazy gang. So I decided to come and find him myself, to get some answers. I see. But as I said, Archer your life is at risk if you stay here. And I'm not referring to the gangs either. You should leave, sir. Well, this part of town used to be nicer, let's say. Perhaps you're right. This isn't the best way to save Andrew. Totally good. Take that, thanks for the rewards. I'll talk to you now. Are you sure you'll be young man? Okay, so he's part of the dogs. Okay. Now where do I go? Cause somewhere I took a wrong turn here. Go back up this way and then This corpse. And then I go. So do, do, do. So loot. Here. My guess is they're recruiting. 
Hello. Good evening, sir. Who the fuck are you? Don't you see I'm busy here? Dr. Jonathan Reed, that's who I am. And who are you? Ah, some fancy gentleman we've got here. Clear off. We don't want strangers on our streets. So you won't tell me your name, then? The name is Booth Digby. Maybe I'll ask my boys to break one or two of your bones, just so you remember it. Oh, man. Are you some kind of vigilante patrolling these streets at night? Something like that, but the police aren't in charge here. We are, see? Isn't that the leader of the... So you're a concerned criminal, is that it? Using funny jokes about me and my boys, are you? Fuck. You must have some balls. I saw many men like you during the war, Mr. Digby. Greedy little cockroaches who feed on despair. I could kill you for saying that. Kill you. But, nah. Okay. You've been a soldier. I can respect that. So, tell me about your gang, then. What? Have you got a death wish? You really want me to answer that? Well, yes. You seem so proud of your status. Why not tell me who you're working for? Oi! I'm the boss, all right? The wet boot boys work for me. All of them. Situation round here is better than other districts because of us. Because of me. What can you tell me about this part of town? Things ain't that bad, thanks to us. We give people what they need, and we control this borough. Well, you're not doing a very good job. People are still dying here, like everywhere else. Yeah, well, we can't be everywhere all the time. And if Weena says if we can find more guns, we could be more efficient. More efficient? Really? You should probably tell Edwina that guns are useless against diseases and infections. Incredible. You know what? You're lucky she can't hear you right now. She's more himself. smart than patient. My sweet queen of the docks. Do you know Sean. where I can find Sean Hampton? I need to talk to him. The sad saint. Why on earth do you want to talk to him? He was one of my patients at the Pembroke Hospital. Oh, yeah. I heard the poor bastard had been abducted by some cat. You, you better ask Tom Watts. He knows Sean. Not that bad of a word across the pond. Goodbye, Mr. Digby. Foolish girl and a... Good evening, miss. I am Dr. Reed. May I ask you a few questions? Who are you? What do you want? As I just told you, I'm a doctor. From the Pembroke Hospital, actually. The Pembroke Hospital, you say? I ain't paying any bill left by clay. I'm not here to collect payment, Miss... Miss Edwina Cox. So what do you want, then? Fancy buying something from me, maybe? Can I you see what you have to urgent. sell? As long as you have money, I'll show you all I have. Gotten. What I wanted. Good evening. Miss. Hello again, Dr. Reed. What do you want? Boo Digby looks at you with love struck eyes. Tell me, Edwina, is the feeling mutual? You have no idea how refreshing it can be for a woman to receive all the pleasure she needs for once. Hmm. I'll take your word for it. What is it, Doctor? A woman's not supposed to talk about these things. <laughs> Damn! Damn! <laughs> I like you. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> I'm, not I'm not that, that easily, easily shocked, shocked, Miss Cox. I just you can just, speak I... freely about your lover if you so wish. The poor bastard is good to me, if you must know. He makes me feel good. That's a first. So you're just like any other couple, after all, are you not? Yeah, we're so ordinary that I'd put a bullet in his head if he ever cheated on me. That's pretty normal, though. Not gonna lie, it's pretty normal. So what do you do? What can you tell me about your work? I'm a businesswoman. I buy and sell things, and I send my wet boot boys after anyone who don't play nice with me. Gang member and shopkeeper. Can't be easy running double shifts. If you're interested, I may find use of a doctor who can freely walk across the city, you know. You're quite blunt, aren't you? 
I like people who know what they want and say what they think. This is a time of great opportunity for those ready to embrace their destiny. I'm not interested in a career in the criminal underworld, Miss Cox. Fair enough. Stay away from us, then, if you don't want to get hurt or worse. Since my return from the war, I don't feel that concerned by threats, knives, or even bullets, if you must know. That's exactly what that stupid trade unionist claimed after he attacked one of us. Booth and I reminded him a bullet beats words every time. Which is fine, but... What can you tell me about this part of town? You can't trust anyone around here. As soon as you lower your guard, you can be sure some arsehole will take advantage of you. That sounds about right. Really? Don't you think that's a little bit excessive? Bastards, all of them. This region only responds to violence and threats. You sound like you're thinking of somebody in particular. Take the grave diggers of Southwark. They must pay me every week, but it looks like they forgot who gave them permission to steal from the dead. Looting corpses in a mass grave. That's... that is a new low. Whatever. Really hey, been since doing you're it. a doctor and all, maybe you can access that forbidden area and remind those bastards what they owe. That was that one, right? Yeah. I'm looking for Mr. Sean Hampton. Do you know where I could find him? The sad saint? I heard he was mugged or something. Yes, he was. But he left hospital recently. You don't say. Well, I suppose it's good news for the homeless and the useless. Ask them, they must know something. Right. Goodbye, Miss Cox. So then, is that the last area here? Yeah. Oh no. It's not the last area. Oh, they just pop up. Oh. Mark my words, miss. These murders are the work of a vampire. A vampire? Not a drop of blood left in his body. This is the work of a vampire. A vampire hunter. Shall I stamp Crane? You best be off to your hunting then. For if the sewer dog is back and hunting all these poor folk, he needs to catch him. A sewer dog? What's it look like? It's an old story. A monster with daggers for teeth and icy claws. He comes of a sudden, nighttime, I claiming him. innocence, then vanishes. The itchies. Teeth, claws, murders by night. Your sewer dog is my business. He's the kind of prey I hunt, milady. I legit want to talk to Ichabod, see if he picks up that I'm a vampire. Good Hi. evening, sir. Have you witnessed any suspicious activity or strange events recently? And what do you define as a strange event? More to the point, who are you? My name is Ichabod Throgmorton, vampire hunter extraordinaire and warden of the East End. A that vampire is a name. hunter? <laughs> really? I know what you're thinking. I'm just another lunatic howling at the moon, but I'm not. The bloodsuckers exist. And they're well, close. Allie. Mr. Throgmorton, I'm Dr. Jonathan Reed. I'd like to hear more about these I'm closer than vampires. You think. <laughs> A man of science? Well, I'll be glad to enlighten you. Did you know vampires are like within a foot of you? Right now. It's so weird. Have you heard of the guard of Prewan? Of course. They're dedicated hunters. A little militant for my taste, but they do let anyone join. So you hunt alone? That sounds risky. Vampires are just like every other predator. They hunt when they're hungry and follow certain patterns. It's just a matter of observation and patience. Were you ever tempted to join the guard yourself? I did think about it, but I'm more of a silent hunter. They're more of a sanitary militia.
What can you tell me about this neighborhood? Did you hear about what happened to Jack Gillingham? Poor boy. It's a shame I wasn't around to protect him. It's impossible to protect everyone. The violence seems endemic in this part of town. But it's my duty. I am convinced Jack Gillingham was killed by a vampire. These evil rodents are spreading like a plague. So, how exactly are you protecting these people? I'm curious. I patrol late at night, investigating anything unusual. I try and encourage people to stay indoors, but people are careless. Can I help in any way? Actually, yes. I plan to put up posters to alert the population to the vampire threat. Are you asking me to paste posters about vampires around the docks? If you wouldn't mind. If you did that, then I can focus on my patrols. You're How kidding. do you identify a vampire? It's simple, really. They can't stand daylight. They're afraid of garlic and holy symbols. They also cannot enter a house without being invited. Have you ever killed one of these creatures? Yourself, I mean. Of course I have. What kind of question is that? It's a not. dirty business, believe me. He is not. I'm looking for Sean Hampton. Can you help me, Mr. Throgmorton? The sad saint? He should be at his night asylum at this hour. But I cannot tell you how to find it, sorry. Really? Why is that? It's nothing personal, Doctor. I'm sure your intentions are good, but people who sleep there... ...they have plenty of reasons to hide. I could make you tell me, but I respect your refusal. You really believe Sean is a saint, don't you? All I will say is this. Gossip has it that when he was a child, he was molested. By a priest of all people. Jesus. Funny thing is, though, it only strengthened his faith. Poor Sean. Maybe at least you can tell me who could help me find him. Tell you what, go and chat with Tom Watts. He's a bartender and good judge of character. If he talks to you, then it's fine by me. Goodbye. And good hunting, Mr. Throckmorton. There's a vampire behind you. Sorry, I've been waiting for that. Um... Ah, uh, yes. Good evening, sir. Whatever. Don't you recognize me? We met a few nights ago. Don't take it personally. I spent a lot of energy forgetting what I did the night before. Yes, you had definitely drunk too much then as well. I'm Dr. Jonathan Reed. I'm Dyson Delaney. I'll try to remember you. It's time. Inebriation aside, do you need medical help? Yes. I feel sicker than usual these days. I have the thing. Take this, then. And perhaps you could try to slow down the alcohol intake. Just a little bit. Hey, Doc, you don't really want me to stop the only remedy I can afford. Surely you must have had dreams and expectations when you were young, like everybody else. Sure. I wanted things to change. To really change. And to change for good. The bigger the dream, the harder the fall. Mm. Sounds like you were an idealist. Which is honorable. No, sir. I was an anarchist and I believe that exclusive property is a robbery in nature. I wanted a new world to rise from the ashes, Dr. Reed. Do you really think the world is that bad? No, I believe we all can choose to make it better. But most of us are too weak, too corrupt and too guilty. I failed for sure, but others will come. Very true. I want to know more about your past as an anarchist, Dyson. I'm still an anarchist, Doctor. Make no mistake. I just reject I violence as a tool mic. to change the world, unlike my comrades. Do you still see your comrades, then? Even if you don't agree with their methods anymore, I mean? No. I hope they'll come to share my point of view one day. I'll raise my glass to that splendid idea. Do you believe in a bloodless revolution, then? 
I do not believe in much anymore, Doctor. But I'll admit I like your idea of peaceful change. I like it a lot. Seems to be the most, the longest lasting, most effective. What do you do for a living, Mr. Delaney? I drink. I drink in the morning and at noon. I drink at night. And then I drink some more. Why do you drink so much? Maybe it's because I prefer dying slowly. Death can be so abrupt. Personally, I like to see mine coming at my own pace. What do you you sound very death? sad, sir. That's because I am, Doc. Don't you work at all? I'd love to, but I don't have the time. Didn't I tell you? Drink in the morning and at noon. I drink at night. Is there anything in particular that you like about this part of town? Except for the cheap drinks, I mean. How dare you say such a thing? I love this neighborhood. So friendly. So joyful. No reason at all to rejoice, then. then. Life is hopeless and then we die. Then we die. Yep. Is that it? Let me tell you a story. All right. all right. Go on. A few years ago. When I believed a resolute man could change things around here for good, a tragedy occurred nearby. What kind of tragedy? It was a bomb. A bomb that exploded and killed many people. Metal and blood everywhere. Shouts. Fire. Broken window of the shoe shop. The torn street light. You lost people you loved that day, didn't you? I've lost everything. But you know what the worst part is? I don't even remember where it happened. I've drunk so much to forget it. And now I can't remember where it was. I can't pay my homage to the dead. I'm sorry, Mr. Delaney. It's okay. If you ever find the place, just leave a flower for me there. Even if you tell me where it is, I'm not sure I'd memorize it. Is there anything in particular that- How dare you? Why are you so cynical? Cynicism is the polite way to express despair, Doctor. Huh. I'm looking Sean. for Mr. Sean Hampton. Do you know where I could find him? I really don't know. I heard he'd been abducted. I don't know if he's back. Who could tell me that? About the sad same. I'll try asking Tom Watts about him. Right. Goodbye, Mr. Delaney. else I need to find in here. Healthy, healthy. Okay. I'm just gonna make sure everybody's healthy. Perhaps hey, I should Tom. shut the Good evening, Tom. Good evening, sir. How are you tonight? Back to the docks, are we? You remember me then? Of course I do. You're that man who seemed so lost when he entered my bar a few nights ago. Thank you for your hospitality. I'm Jonathan Reed, by the way. Uh, I'm still Tom Watts. Welcome back, Doctor. Tom, I need to find Sean Hampton as quickly as possible. I've been told you could help me. I heard the sad saint was recovering at Pembroke Hospital. Did he leave or something? I believe he returned to his flock. Can you confirm that? Oh, I bet you're right. Sean can't help but worry about the poor and sick. Oh, I guess it has something to do with what happened to him as a baby. Please, tell me. Oh, I don't like to gossip, but I heard that the sad saint was abandoned as a baby in front of a Catholic orphanage in Dublin. It would explain his faith and need to help everyone. I can never... Oh. The important thing is I find him. Quickly. Uh, why not try his night asylum? He takes care of those who need a meal or a roof there. Where is it? It's in an old warehouse, northwest of here. Just follow the bank to the west and go north when you reach the end of the pier. Okay. What can you tell me about this part of town? It's not that bad. Thanks to people like the sad saint of the East End. Who? Sean Hampton, our own private holy figure. 
Few are foolish enough to make peace with the gangs. Sean is one of them. How is it you can keep this place open? This part of town doesn't seem particularly safe. Well, since everybody needs a drink, my pub is considered neutral ground by most groups. That's fair. Since I'm here, is there anything I can do? Well, perhaps, Doctor. Peace partly depends on my stock of gin. Uh, with the epidemic, my supplies are running low. How could a physician help you in this matter? I have a small warehouse just past the quarantine line. Perhaps, with you being a doctor, you could go there and come back? Doctors aren't immune to disease, you know. Very well. Show me where it is. I'll see what I can do. Oh, thank you, sir. Here's the key to get in. You're about to save many dry throats. Not just that, I see. Stop any so you get pressure out. from all sides about how this place should be run, do you? Oh, something like that. Nothing that a few wise words and a bottle of gin can't solve. You're something of a figurehead around here. I'm only pouring alcohol for everyone to forget their troubles. Sean Hampton is the one giving them long-term hope. Okay, we're gonna do better on the east end than I did in the west and Whitechapel, because Whitechapel like, screwed up completely. Goodbye, Mr. Watts. Are they stupid or something? I've never even been to India. Perhaps I should shut the turquoise for a time. West until I can't whistle more, and then go north. Okay. So. There we go. Sean. Seems like the guard of Prewin is on Sean Hampton's trail, too. Die, beast! Put some of that. 
This corpse are deep, the result of rabid rage. If this is Sean's doing, he's become a murderous beast. What if he's like lethal and he's got a skull? Can we just hope for the best? Prepare for the worst, hope for the best, you know. I'm completely prepared to kill Sean. That would be really sad to him. And I don't want to. What about that here? I cannot enter. Should be a jump I might be able to make. Maybe on the edge, go around the edge. What am I? I can't. I can't dodge. I can't do anything. What the hell? What was I even stuck on? <sighs> this is like twice in two weeks, dude. <laughs>
don't know what happened. Okay. Isn't there a- there is a hideout over here, so I might get to the hideout and then just sign off for the night. Okay, Samuel decided that he doesn't want to sleep even though it's past his bedtime. few skulls is no is no uh what is it? Sweat off my back or whatever? God it's safe for places to be in here. Best turn around if I were you. No, I don't want Sir, to step away! away. Past. It's an option. Mainly because I'm getting real tired of fighting every five seconds. I'm not gonna lie. I'm going the right way. Nope, it's up. Get up and then this way. What? What'd you say? Oh, cars? Is that what you said? I didn't hear what I said. Mr. Retired Man. one on each day. Oh, I need more of those, um, serums, too. Okay. So, I know it's only been an hour and a half, but I'm gonna get off for the night, and then, um, actually I'll level up first. I've got a lot here I can level up. Three, 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 three. Yeah, he is. I'll get him back down, honey. I know you had chores you were doing. Yeah, I'm gonna get off here already. Old chat. Kinda crappy. We got a boss fight next time, but oh, big yawn. 
Do you want to go with daddy or you want mommy to put you back to bed? Daddy? Okay. The mom will do this boss fight. I just was not going to fight a bunch of vampires while he was on my lap. You can watch TikTok with daddy. Okay, so scratch that. We'll do the boss fight here. I'm just going to vote real quick because I need to. <laughs> Can I this up again? No. Can I this up all? No. <laughs> Did level up all this to level 3 though now. I'm gonna level 3 and things up to 3. That's another 9. 900 for that, and then it was 2,000 for each, so. I'm not too worried about that, but I do like to have the extra things. Confirm. So we'll sleep. Okay. Not any of these people. It's stable now. What the hell? What the hell happened? Okay, so I have four, five, six, seven cases of fatigue at Pembroke. I have one case, two cases, so that's nine, ten cases of fatigue, and we have neurology. Ten cases of fatigue. Ten cases of fatigue. Sorry, who are you? Good evening, miss. I'm Dr. Jonathan Reed. May I have your attention? For Captain, you Good evening, sir. My name is Giselle Paxton, but I don't have time for men like you. Have we met before? No, but I just need to look at your fancy clothes to know that you must be desperate to visit the docks at night. That's quite judgmental of you. Sir, I've led enough strikes when I had a job to identify you as an enemy of the working class. You speak of strikes and class enemy. Am I right to assume you're involved in trade union activism? You bet I am. Well, I was. Nowadays, I'm just another worker blacklisted by the big companies. You lost your job because of your beliefs. Those bastards really hate a worker who refuses slave wages and unsafe conditions, especially when it's a woman. Yep. Isn't the whole point of trade unions to help workers in need? Why don't they support you? A few nights back, I lost the money my companions had asked me to hide. With me and my sister being penniless, they thought I stole it. What really happened? I drank too much that night. Strange men saw me count the money in that bar. Some sort of militia in uniform. You I'm went. sure they robbed me. May I ask what you do for a living? I'm killing myself scraping for a living. And you? Have you ever had to struggle in your entire life? As I told you, I'm a doctor. You have to work a lot to earn that title. Oh, a doctor. Hmm, born with money in a nice house, were we? Was Daddy a banker or a doctor himself? 
Why such hatred? Are you judging me by my clothes and my job? Of course I am. Fuck, you're so blind. You don't even see your privilege. Lazy people like you disgust me. I'm not lazy. What can you tell me about this vicinity? Tell you what. Just spend a few weeks here, and then ask me that question again. If you're still alive, I mean. If you have something to say, say it. I'm getting tired of all this. Oh. You want information instead? Well, here's some for you. Giselle Paxton does not like you at all, Doctor. Fair point. You don't know me, Miss Paxton, and yet you see me as an enemy. Oh. Your manners, your clothes, but. your words tell me everything about you, sir. Okay, I know you're a bot, hold on. And you don't belong here. Give it but. Come on. Freaking bot. All right, got rid of the bot. <laughs> oh no, Miss Paxton, you really don't know my kind. You have no idea who I am. All right, okay. No need to get all worked up. I kill her. Yeah, she's healthy. I'm looking for Sean Hampton. Can you help me? What is it you want? Does he owe you money? Has he displeased your royal highness? I'm no snitch, Mr. Fancy Pants. Look, if he's fine... Well, I'll leave I'll you for now. Goodbye, Mr. Paxton. Can't do that. Good evening, miss. I'm Dr. Jonathan Reed. Can I help you? A fancy doctor lurking at night by the docks? <laughs> Not fishy at all. And what about you? Working outside at night in this dangerous part of town. You want to know my secret? I'm trying to earn money. And I'm Lottie Paxton, by the way. Must be her sister. Is it not dangerous to work here at night? As long as I have good legs, I can run away from trouble. The sad saint now provides me and my sister a bed and a roof. I don't want to lose that. Are you homeless, Miss Paxton? Mr. Hampton's night asylum is our new home now. It's a safe place for me and my sister. What can you tell me about the Sad Saint? It's just the nickname of Sean Hampton, the Sad Saint of the East End. He gave me shelter, and he's not always sad. What can you tell me about this place? How are things here? It may be okay for a strong girl like me, but a dandy doctor from the city like yourself. You better watch your back, Mr. Reed. Be fine. You really think I should go back to a safer place, miss? No. I think you had better stay and help as many people as you can. Just avoid the wet boot boys. Those bastards are worse than the epidemic. Which local dangers must I avoid? Well, the gangs, the thieves, the drunks, the jobless. A man with your fancy clothes will attract a lot of attention. Well, I am not someone so easily intimidated. Glad to hear that. And if you get into trouble, you can always seek help at Sean Hampton's shelter. No one would dare to be violent there. I'm looking for Sean Hampton. Can you help me? Mr. Hampton must be in his office at the night asylum he manages, I suppose. Why do you want to see him? He was a patient of mine at the Pembroke Hospital. But he left abruptly. I see. Well, Mr. Hampton is a discreet and dedicated man. I'm sure you'll find him soon enough. God, please don't let him be a skull. Goodbye, Miss Paxton. <gasps> Sean? Normal, healthy, not vampiric Sean? Well, why the long face, Doctor? Is it all that worries you, Sean? My long face. 
really. This is a blessing for me to become a Skull. Immortality gives me more time and energy, if truth be known, to run a shelter. What more could I want? Since you left Pembroke, the amount of blood that has been shed, it's hard to believe you, Sean. Ask what you will. As the Lord is my shepherd, I will not speak a lie to you. Why return here? This is my home. These people are my flock. You will always find me where I am needed. You're a helpful skull? Wonders never cease. Skull managing an asylum. And what of you? A vampire doctor? Meals laid out before you? Yet you restrain? Oh, I don't know. I don't want to kill him. And what about William Bishop? He tried to take care of you. But this hunger, this thirst, cannot be restrained. Alas, poor William. He had a good soul, but was weak in spirit. He could not shake the thirst for booze, never mind blood. But have faith. My will is far stronger than his. I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. I'm a screw it on this. Okay. Aren't you afraid of what you've become? We are blessed, Doctor. Can't you see it? The Lord has made us able to walk amongst the plague and aid those that need it. Do you think this is a blessing when God's own house and holy symbols repel you? If that is your burden, Doctor, so be it. But I do not fear the cross, nor am I forced to take the life of another. My kind doesn't share your imperfections. Really? But you must drink blood now to survive. No, not your scripture. Whoso eateth my flesh and drinketh my blood hath eternal life. And I will raise him up at the last day. So saith the Lord. I only need to eat flesh. No blood. Really? That's interesting. Why did you kill Miss Jones at the Pembroke Hospital? Killed old Harriet? You must be mad, Doctor. Why would I do such a thing? But you were close to her. Of course. But she was lost. Separated from the fold. She did not see the hand of the divine in my blessed condition. So you claim Miss Jones' death was not by your hand, nor the other incidents at Pembroke? Though Harriet was an angry, spiteful woman, she was one of God's creatures. I have nothing but love for all he has made. Yeah, but... But, but Sean, I don't want to kill you. But I think you're going to kill people, Sean. You need to be... selective with your harvesting. People have been murdered. I've seen the blood. I don't believe you can be trusted. Have a little faith, Doctor. If you will follow, I will guide you to the light. How do you plan to do that? Take this key of the old sewers. The entrance is by the riverbank, south from here. There you'll find all the proof you need. I'm intrigued. Very well. You have definitely intrigued me. I hope you're right, Sean. I'll be here when you return. If you still think I'm a threat then, well, I'll surrender myself to your judgment. I don't want to kill you. I don't want to kill him at all. But the cross... Oh, he's doing something. Your kind's not welcome here, sir. Is that angry or not? There's so much of the guard out about. Trace of October from the command post to dock patrol. Some of our scouts recently spotted the presence of the circuit Ichabod Throgmorton near East End Docks. Uh, 
He claims he's a special vampire extermination. He's a fraud, not even a real con man for he does not charge anybody for the work. He has no idea what he's talking about. If he ever approaches you for some joint hunt collaboration, refuse and let him go on in a leech fight. The man has nothing more than bait. Dang. Over there! There's one in the This could be the public house Giselle Paxton mentioned. I should investigate further. I ignore that fight back there. I was gonna sneak in this year and take care of it. I don't know what Sean's up to. Can I put him on like probation? Can I be like, we'll watch you. Because if you fuck it, I'm gonna kill you. There must be a way to control the water level in this reservoir. I need to find the wheel. That's up here. We're just there. Oh, no. So that's it. These wheels control the water level. Now. 
that doesn't work. to get the um barrels down. Okay, yeah, it's blocking it, but how do I get them? Down. Unless I'm supposed to Oh, great, no map. Okay. That gate should shut properly. I won't. Sometimes I forget I can teleport, I'm not gonna lie. My brain is not all the way hooked up for like, what do you can do with it? Okay, let's see if I can drain it. Down, I'm down for that. Right. Some bones in there, you know. It's locked, all right. Dang. have escaped the wrath of Ascalon for too long. It is time to purge the sewers of their filth. You again. The one they call the Sewer Dog. Hold your tongue, newborn, or I'll crush you like a maggot. You've let the beast consume you. Finally, a touch of lucidity. Oh, I guess this is a boss fight. To respect the laws of Ascalon. Take 
Bunch of Vascaron! I am Fergal Bash and the hand that crushes all! fight <laughs> a lot of intense focus I did it
If you want me to find him, I mean, I found him. At least one skull escaped Fergal's wrath. Can I talk to him? Will they talk to me? Because legitimately, if I can just talk to skulls, that'd be so much better. The poor creature is bleeding to death. He cannot be far. get too lost down here and I know I will how could he have made it this far there's blood everywhere he's a vampire Drink now. I killed him. Can we be friends? Because I don't want to kill you. you Bridget. This isn't the blood of a vampire, but it will quench your thirst. This is Hi. our domain, not yours. You've been warned. Hey, look, Wait, I just want to talk. I saved you from this creature. That must count for something. Kill Thank him. you. Now go. Go back to the streets and houses. There is no love lost between us, vampire. Okay. But thank you. Can I talk to you, though? Sean... Sean... Sean Hampton sent me here. I believe he wanted me to find you. Who are you? If you must know, they call me Old Bridget. And this shelter is where we live. I'm Jonathan Reed. I'm a newborn Ekon. I'm afraid I'm not sure what's going on. I shall not bend a knee, young Ekon. But I sense your I pain. Ask and I will afford you my attention. Why was that creature after you? Fergal is the blunt instrument of the Ascalon Club. His masters would see us dead or what? turned into slaves if they had their way. What the hell was that thing? He wasn't an Ekon or a Skull. They are known as Volkhod, an ancient offshoot of immortals. Blood drives them, enrages them. What of this Ascalon Club? Vampire societies elite in the Empire. They make the rules and enforce their judgment upon us whom they see as lessers. That's not okay. All right. So is it you that Sean Hampton sent me to find? Perhaps. The sad saint was always kind to us. He must trust you if he revealed our location. Can he be trusted? Sean is a skull. All those I've encountered have been violent, crazed creatures. How can he be any different? Maybe because he is the sad saint. Or perhaps because I am old Bridget of the Sewer Skulls. Sean killed a patient of mine. And that's just one of the murders he's being hunted for. If you refer to Harriet, she is now among us and under our protection. Harriet Jones is alive. That's it. That's the proof Sean wanted me to find. I must talk to her. No. Harriet is not alive. But you can speak to her. She undead. I must warn you. She is fragile and may not receive you warmly. She I don't understand. anyone warmly ever. She is filled with bile and hate. Her mind is sharp as a tack. But her body is so weak. I've never seen its like before. She is resting in a room on the far right of this hideout. Thank you. I will bear that in mind. If... Is this the last area then? No? Yeah. We're hoping for it. Your place is not here. But if you guys aren't, you guys all seem crazed and vicious right now. Look, they're like... Sane.
Hello, Harriet. Do you recognize me? Hmm, yes. You were from the Pembroke Hospital. The young doctor. So full of secrets. I have so many questions I need to ask you, Harriet. If you would. I love questions. As for the answers, you may not like them. I feel like skulls are more like zombies in this, because they need flesh, not blood. Holy things don't work, you know? I feel like they're zombies. And then, like, Econ are more vampires. Why did you come here? And why not? This is where I live now. Oh, you'd leave me be. Will you respect old Bridget's wishes? Will you obey her? Bridget is kind. She only needs to keep me fed and I'll be good. Fair. So you desire to stay here? Yes. I'm with my own kind. Birds of a feather, so to speak. That's all me Poor then. Poor Harriet. Always alone. Your room. The blood. What brought you to fake your death in such a gruesome fashion? To see if I would be mourned. Interesting. Why flee with Sean Hampton? Oh, it's always a pleasure to see a saint fall to sin. But the coward still won't kill. St okay. Do you take pleasure in causing so much pain and sorrow? Nobody gave a damn about me. Not a tear shed. Poor Harriet. Always the discarded. Oh, you're such a Karen, Harriet. How do you feel? I can't see. I can't move. Oh, my, my body's burning. I feel as if I'm dying over and over again. Have you tried to eat or drink something? People here tried to feed me, but I'm just not hungry. I don't have the strength. Does the pain ever stop? It is not pain I feel. It's like I, I can't stop feeling every inch of my body. But at the same time, each muscle and bone is the wrong place. Jesus. Yeah, it's more zombie-ish. I have a question of the utmost importance to ask. Will you answer? Questions, questions, questions. The good doctor, always searching for answers. Do you remember what you did after leaving the hospital? Did you kill anyone? First, a question from me. You answer first. Very well, then. What do you want to know? Are you like me? Are you also dead? We are both undead, but I am not like you. We are not dead, Harriet. Death no longer pertains to us. We are different I like what I am I truly do I relish the pain that courses through me I know you fled the hospital with Sean Hampton did you or Sean kill anyone in your flight anyone try and remember I will not lie I wanted blood and I wanted revenge and Sean pulled me from it brought me here instead but the shadows heard my prayers. The shadows killed that bastard. About who? Who was that man? The one murdered in the street? He used to be my landlord. I lived here for many years before falling ill. Oh, he was an awful man. Disgusting and cruel. So cruel. You sought vengeance by your own hand, and someone else obliged you. Very convenient. Don't lie to me. I don't lie. I saw him near the docks, and rightly I wished him dead. And I am happy he is. It's true. But I didn't kill him. I was too tired. All right. Shadows. Tell me what you saw. The shadows, they heard me and answered something in the deep darkness, quick, deadly. It asked me if I wanted revenge, 
I answered, yes! And these shadows, this presence, do you still hear it? Was it a vampire? Did Sean see it? <laughs> it spoke only to me. And now, it is silent. But it is born of hatred. <laughs> and it will kill again. <laughs> and it hates you, Doctor. Oh, it hates you. What makes you say that? It... it whispered your name, Dr. Reed. It wanted to know who you were and where you went. Questions about me? What did you say? Nothing, Doctor. I said nothing. There was nothing it didn't already know. Oh, I'm tired now. Let me rest. Fair enough. Have you found the answers you were looking for, young Ekon? There is too much left unanswered. How are so you many sane? questions. Get to know us. Spend time with us, and I may be willing to answer more questions. For how long have you been in hiding here? Skulls have been hiding under London since vampires first entered the city. Where did you hide before the sewers? We claimed ancient tunnels, forgotten caverns, catacombs. We are skulls, groveling beneath the feet of our makers. Your diction, your words. You do not carry yourself like most skulls I've encountered. True. I'm not like most skulls. You were once someone else. What happened to you? It is as sad as it is long, young Ekon, but it will remain mine. Okay, fair, no pressure. Can I be of service to you? We ask but one thing. Reveal to no one our secrets. Do not betray us. Why do you live here? Amongst the filth and vermin? Live? Here we hide. What are you hiding from? From the guilt. The shame from the hunters and the light. And of course, our past. Why don't you leave the city? Hide somewhere far from the guard of Prewan, the Ascalon Club. We are the Sewer Skulls. This is our domain. We have run as far as we can, and now we hide. Mm. What manner of creature is Harriet? She is different from everyone else. I really don't know. I'm not even certain she is a skull. I've no idea as to what blood made her. What is a skull, in fact, in your honest opinion? The progeny of a vampire, disavowed by her maker. Perhaps a fruitless branch of a noble tree. Hmm. A word used to enslave us. I cannot say. You mentioned that vampire blood has tremendous potency. You believe it to be stronger than your own? Oh, the vampire's sweet blood. That rich, dark wine that we crave. For it made us, and it can sustain us. I thank you for your time, madam. I must go back to Sean so Hampton. one up on the food chain from Your kindness has been ample payment, Ekon. To protect us, I'll close the access to our hideout, but you can use our shortcut to reach Mr. Hampton's shelter. Just follow the arrows. Thank you. Thank you, old Bridget. I hope we'll meet again. That's interesting. I never would have guessed, to be honest with you. Eternal gratitude for your protection, Master. No thanks. Too much. Let's not do that, yeah?
saw the one arrow and I'm not seeing the other one. Old Bridget says you are one to trust. See, the more, like, I don't know. It's a weird. Eternal gratitude for your protection, master. I don't want to be your master. Well, I'm serious about I have no desires. Old Bridget says you are one to try. I must have missed the arrows. I don't know. That one I saw. What's up here? The vampire hunter will never find us here. Old Bridget says you are one to trust. So hey, did he get down okay? Welcome back, Dr. Reed. Would you like to take communion with me now? Sean, are you eating raw flesh? He's just in it is the sacred flesh of the mortal lamb. Our Lord's bountiful transmutation for the sustenance of his believers. Thank you, Lord. I am your most humble servant. So, true to your word, you waited for my return. I told you, Dr. Reed, I was a man to be trusted. Did you have words with the poor Harriet? You make no distinction between the living and the skulls, do you? Oh, we are God's children, Dr. Reed. One and all. And he's determined to save us. Hmm. Give it. Does this place belong to you? How can you be so certain you can keep it open? This warehouse was once property of the Dawson family, but has been bequeathed me through donation. Interesting. The Dawsons? The wealthiest family in London? Have they a clue as to what goes on here? Not at all. The donation was made before the war. The building was run down. I never met Aloysius Dawson myself. Could he be a vampire? Could he be part of that Ascalon club or whatever it was? Because Lady Ashbury is wealthy, and I assume, since you're a vampire, wealth just accumulates over time. So you have the run of the place, and no one's taken notice? As long as we keep to ourselves, we interest no one. This is a haven, and I pray it remains so for eons to come. Yeah, but... What will be the result if you continue to assist both Skulls and the living? For the last decade, that's what's been happening. And they found a better life. What's to change? What about the epidemic? You're forgetting the epidemic. Things can go south very quickly. I've seen it. Oh, these are terrible times. Only those pure of heart shall prevail. You've turned Skull now. Don't you see the danger to anyone giving you their trust? We are all sinners, awaiting salvation. This is a simple truth, ordained by the Lord Almighty. 
I am a seeker of his glorious light. Give it. Harriet, Miss Jones has been behaving in a most violent manner. She's going to need special attention. That's precisely the reason I brought her here. To meet old Bridget. She's the guide Harriet requires. Who, Who is, is this old Bridget? I don't know, Doctor. She rarely speaks of her past, but I know she has a long one. She's likely the oldest soul in the city. Harriet is possessed by her hatred. You cannot let her roam free. She's dangerous. She has joined her own client, Doctor. Old Bridget is a saint to the younger Skulls, guiding them to salvation and peaceful existence. I believe I've learned all I need to know. I'm certain you've killed no one, but one day I believe you'll cross the line. <sighs> Logic is a false prophet. Faith is the only path to salvation. What do you mean? We have been blessed with God's eternity. We are the instruments of his divine will. We shall feed the hungry forever and ever. Amen. I have no idea what to choose here. Hold on. Because like, okay. I'd like to trust you. I will strive to emulate your merciful nature, Sean, but it's a difficult pledge to make. Give yourself over to God, Doctor. Expel your oh, urges and kneel before the Lord in praise. These urges. You know the hunger will never be satisfied. I've come to embrace the everlasting craving. I have sworn to feed only upon the flesh of the dead. It is now my sacrament. You follow that rule. Take. Behind. Eat. This is my body. So saith the Lord. Crap. Okay. You know what? I mean, I kind of want to turn him. No. I believe you, Sean. In fact, I envy the peace you found. And the boy and will remember it. There is love and compassion in your heart. You only need to give it wings. Thank you for your kind words, Sean. Continue your noble efforts. You are a good man in bad times. Keep to the light, my friend. Like all my flock, you have a home here. Any time you're in the neighborhood. Oh god, I was hoping I made the right decision. I'll screw this up in White Chapel. Alright. Yeah, I know, I don't know what that means. So if a lot of people start dying, I guess I'm That's fair, right? Um so I will sign off for the night then, and we'll see what I did. But see you on Thursday. Have a good night.